And coming up next, it is a welterweight championship fight between Bruce Lee and Donald Cerrone. All right, so here he is, the number one welterweight contender, getting set to challenge for the UFC's 170-pound title. Took a long winning streak in many years for him to realize this opportunity. He is not taking it lightly. He has said all here during fight week he's appreciative of this opportunity, but he is confident he is gonna maximize it and leave as not just a contender, but a UFC champion. Takedown defense is there. Huge block there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Trying to establish that jab once again. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Man, look how quickly he gets that foot to the target. Attempts the front kick there. Oh, he's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Oh, big knee to the body. How'd he get that one hard? Game going tonight, lands another one there. A beautiful kick, and all I can think of, better him than me. Left punch is good. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Lee gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Head kick attempt, it's blocked. Looking for that left hand, just missed. Oh, man. I think you jumped out of your seat a little bit after that kick. Oh, I did, because I have time where I've been kicked like that. And I'm going to tell you one thing. It does not feel good. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. It's very tricky when he throws that body. Nice through. punch there by Sharon. Wow. Second round, straight ahead. Second round underway. You got to check the Fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh. Oh! He's done it! He's done it! 
great punch. Check the high kick. Beautiful takedown land. This is exactly what he needed to get a takedown and secure the position. Oh, spinning back fist. Oh! He's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. We got him. Cerrone's lower jaw now starts to show signs of shock. repeatedly it could be a short night for his opponent but that was just one perfectly placed strike that his opponent candidly didn't even see coming it landed flush and the rest as they say is history big knockout win for him here tonight what right coming up next it is a welterweight championship fight between bruce lee and Nick Diaz. All right, here he is, and still one of the biggest stars in the sport, DC. Nick Diaz back for the first time in a long time, and the fans are excited to see what he can do. You know he's coming in shape, so we'll see how it goes for him tonight. Nick Diaz will always be prepared to fight, because when he's away, He's competing in triathlons. He's staying in shape, he's swimming, he's riding his bike. He's doing so many things. He's constantly grappling. He has his own academy out in Stockton. A guy that's never too far away from mixed martial arts. Nick Diaz has competed in some of the biggest fights in mixed martial arts history. And tonight, he looks to leave his mark again. the reigning defending undisputed UFC welterweight champion of the world and in a division that has so much depth in that top 15 it's even more remarkable that this man has remained the hunted the question tonight with a powerful challenger out of that blue corner can he walk away and still Undisputed UFC Walter. But up next, how good is this? A matchup for the UFC Walter Weight Division title.
right, so here he is, the number one welterweight contender, getting set to challenge for the UFC's 170-pound title. Took a long winning streak in many years for him to realize this opportunity. He is not taking it lightly. He has said all here during fight week he's appreciative of this opportunity, but he is confident he is gonna maximize it and lead as not just a contender, but a UFC champion. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion in a division full of killers. He has remained the hunted at 170 pounds. Now, unquestionably staring at his toughest challenger to date, can he go back home as the champion? If he can, another chapter to one of the greatest welterweight legacies. The Ready. All right, so the fight is underway. We will see how it plays out. It's a pick and fight according to Las Vegas, and it's really hard to think of a weakness that we have seen on film from either guys in their UFC career. Oh! Huge right hand! Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. That one landed clean. Oh, straight right. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming oh. the opponent with activity. He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Trying to stay in this fight. So another swing and a miss, and I'd imagine if your gas tank is this low, you gotta find times to try to preserve that energy and, and get yourself back to a place where you can actually dole out some damage. Yeah, you gotta get out to space, find places to rest and recover. Get against the obstacle, go to the clinch, find ways to just recover so that when you... Oh! And just like that, the fight is over! Yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Flush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming, so a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. And there he is, our UFC. All right, coming up next, a welterweight title fight between Bruce Lee and Leon Edwards. All right, so here he is, the number one welterweight contender, getting set to challenge for the UFC's 170-pound title. Took a long winning streak in many years for him to realize this opportunity. He is not taking it lightly. He has said all here during fight week he's appreciative of this opportunity, 
but he is confident he is going to maximize it and lead as not just a contender, but a UFC champion. He is the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC welterweight champion. All right, so here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a strike. Wow! Oh, he might be out. a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. And just misses with that big right hand. I mean, he's cutting them down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. That takedown attempt without issue. Lee's now dealing with a cheap cut. Big call for Punch Man. Now he gets back to range. Oh, spinning back fist. He didn't telegraph that one at all. Nice hook. Oh, straight right. Oh, oh, there as he lands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad. Now we have to find one more strike to end the night. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got a pressure. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Gets up again here, but he looks up. Oh! And just like that, the fight is over. Wow! Wow! <laughs> yeah, there's another one for the highlight reel, and that's probably as good a knockout as he's had in the UFC. Just a perfect shot to end the fight. Crowd absolutely loving it. Crush land to close out his opponent. I'm not even sure the other fighter saw it coming. So a big knockout for him here tonight on the biggest of stages. Well, what a night for the UFC welterweight champion as he wins the belt with a knockout victory.